In this video, we'll demonstrate how OTDR acquisition works. Start from the home screen. This is where you'll find all available applications. Let's go ahead and select the OTDR application. You'll land on a blank page. The first step is to open the drawer and configure your acquisition parameters. In this example, we're working with a 5-kilometer link, so we'll set that as the distance. Next, select your pulse width and averaging time. Let's go with 5 seconds for now. If you have launch and receive fibers, you can input their lengths here. In our case, we have a 20-meter launch cable but no receive fiber, so we'll enter that accordingly. Once your parameters are set, you can choose the wavelengths for acquisition. When you're ready, press play to begin. The first trace will appear with the selected averaging. You'll see two traces displayed. The results include the measured link length, total loss, and the ORL, optical return loss of the trace. After acquisition, you can view the trace and the event table. If you prefer to see only the event table, click the corresponding icon. To start a new test, click the New Test button. Let's open OTDR4 again. You'll see measurements for both 1310 nanometer and 1550 nanometer wavelengths. You can switch between them to review the data. Next, we have the Map View, a consolidated display of all wavelengths used for the link. From here, you can toggle between icons with the event table and icons only with link parameters. This view helps you quickly assess the overall link performance. Now let's explore life acquisition mode. We'll keep the same parameters, switch to 1550 nanometer, and select a higher pulse width. Click the Life Mode button to start real-time acquisition. This mode is useful for observing changes as they happen. Note that a higher pulse width is often needed due to the fast refresh rate. You can switch wavelengths during Live Mode, but you'll need to stop and restart the acquisition to apply changes. If you're unsure which parameters to use, you can enable Auto Range and Pulse. This lets the OTDR automatically select the best settings for your trace. Let's demonstrate this using both wavelengths. Module Selection For the Quad Module, you can choose between Single Mode and Multi-Mode Modules. Simply click the appropriate icon to switch between 850 nanometer 1300 nanometer multi-mode and 1310 nanometer 1550 nanometer single mode you'll also find the output diagnostic tool here this checks the otdr connector for cleanliness or damage select the connector type upc or apc connect the launch cord and run the test source Choose between modulated or continuous wave output for insertion loss testing. Wavelength options vary depending on the selected module. Configuration options. Under Config, you can set various parameters and thresholds for link definition, OTDR, and power meter. For the link definition, these include the index of refraction and backscatter coefficient. Last but not least, the settings provide file naming configuration options such as prefix and starting index. It is also possible to customize event table display options such as show fiber section, cumulative loss, and OTDR merged details.